Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So here is a uh, special treat for me and you. I recently picked this up, got it back in the collection. If you follow my channel, you probably saw me do the unboxing. Um, this is a JDM model Seiko SKX 007, okay? Um, <clears throat> very popular, been around since 1996, okay? 23 years of service. From what I understand, they just recently discontinued this model. Why, I have no idea. Maybe they're gonna revamp it. I know they came out with that Seiko 5, uh, you know, variant, whatever they're, they're doing now. But um, <clears throat> this thing here is is loved by many people in the watch community. Uh, for me, I've had this like 10 different times, okay? Probably, I mean, I can't even count how many times I've bought this watch, flipped it. Um, I've never had a um, made in Japan model. I always have the K models. Um, but, um, since I, you know, heard they're discontinuing it, I had to pick one up. Okay. So this is the made in Japan model. Okay. Um, this is running the 7S 26, 21 joule mechanical movement. It beats at 21,600 beats per hour, uh, wound by Seiko's magic lever system. Okay. By directional winding. Okay. So it, this movement is very, um, plain Jane. Nothing too special about it. Uh, it's got a 40, what is it? I believe it's a 44 to 48 hour power reserve. Um, it's a it's a workhorse movement, okay? This thing will probably outlast me. Um, it, it'll just keep on going, okay? It's so easy to, to service if you had to as well. In fact, you probably wouldn't even service it. You can probably just buy a new movement for maybe, you know, 40, 50 bucks and have a, a capable watchmaker pop it in. So um, another thing I've noticed is these are very easy to regulate, okay? I've gotten mine uh, regulated very tight in the past to where I've gotten good accuracy. This particular movement actually is giving me pretty good accuracy. I know it's only been a couple days, but um, I've, it hasn't really lost or, or gained any time, so I'm not sure what's going on with this one. Um, and this one's a little rare for me from what I've seen because I've got good uh, chapter ring alignment. I have good, you know, pretty decent bezel alignment, which you can see, and the movement's running, you know, very accurate. So I'm not sure, you know, if I got real lucky on this, I have no idea. I'm not sure if this is just better because it's made in Japan. From what I understand, the Japan models don't vary very much from the K models. I'm not really sure, but uh, I'm happy to have this one back in the collection. Um, this one I got at, at Long Island uh, Watches, and um, I uh, watch a lot of his videos on YouTube, and I f was searching for this model, and this is where I found it. So I was like, okay, I, I emailed him also when I ordered it to get me one that has you know good chapter ring alignment, good bezel action, all that, and they delivered because this thing is in, is the best SKX that I've ever had. I mean, it's it's just perfect. Now it came on a rubber strap, but I sourced out a original Seiko uh, Jubilee, okay, with push pin, okay, pin and well, no, not pin and collar, just push pins, um, you know, Seiko clasp, all that. I love this bracelet. A lot of people are gonna hate it, but I love it. I love that it's chintzy and jangly and all that. It just fits on the wrist very well. It's very comfortable to wear for me. And I just love the look too, okay? Um, when I was in high school, you know, I saw people wearing this, uh, in this same watch, okay? So I've seen this, I've seen this while at the end of high school actually, but I've seen this watch for many years. I've always loved the look of it. Um, I'm not so keen on the rubber strap. That's why I had to source one of these out because I love the bracelet. So the K models come with the bracelet. The J models come with the rubber strap. Rubber strap is super stiff. I, I, I've re read and heard that you can soften them up, you know, uh, heat them up, boil them, all that kind of stuff, but I'm not gonna go through all that. I, I love the look of this bracelet, so that's why I have one on here. Um, let me get the dimensions out of the way for those that don't know. It's a 41 millimeter from side to side. It is 13.25 millimeters from uh, or from the thickness. And then from lug to lug, the actual wingspan of the watch is 46 millimeter. 46 to 47, it's right in that range. Um, I've read many areas or and many things online that it's 46 millimeters. It's 22 millimeters from lug to lug. Or no, 20, 22 millimeter lug opening, okay? Um, let's, I'm gonna 
fire up the caliper real quick and I just want to know for sure. Um, let's see if this will work. Yes, there we go. Let's check that lug to lug just to know for sure. Uh, if I can do this on camera. Oops. Go back. So yeah, almost 45 there, but I'm sure I'm, I don't have the right angle. So I'd say 46, okay? So 46, that's a really nice size. And from wearing my Tudor Pelagos constantly, this thing is just so comfortable to wear. Yeah, 42 right on the money. So it's just so comfortable to wear because it's it doesn't have that long wingspan, okay? Um, it's got Luma Bright and it's very bright. I wore this last night to bed, woke up this morning, and I woke up at like five in the morning because that's what time I go to work, you know, so, um, or get up for work, and it's still bright. So awesome loom. Um, 80 grams on the strap. I'm not sure how much it weighs on the bracelet, maybe 100, you know, 105 possibly because the bracelet doesn't really weigh much of anything. Um, day and date feature, 120 click bezel. And this one has, listen to that, just amazing action. And it lines up perfect. For me, this is probably the best alignment that I've ever had on a Seiko SKX. The handset looks good. Everything looks great on this watch. Um, of course, made in Japan. So, you know, in my mind, and, and I may be wrong, but I just feel that since it was made in Japan, it's just a little bit better because this one is in really good, I mean, just made better than the ones I've had in the past. So the polishing, now after, after owned, after um, owned, yes, I have my Grand Seiko in the collection and, and I really appreciate their polishing on that. And, I, and now I even appreciate the polishing on this even more. If you look at that polishing, I know it's not as refined as a Grand Seiko, of course, because this is a you know two three hundred dollar watch. But if you look at that polishing, they even polish these. Just, I mean, it's just done so well. I mean, look how how well for a three sub three hundred dollar around their watch. It's it's polished so well. Even the brushing looks decent. So, for for the price point for. I know the movement doesn't have hacking, but for what you get in this watch, I think it is so worth it to buy this watch. Uh, for anyone, for starting out in the collect a collection, for um, just have it in the collection, you know, everyone has to have an SKX. And that's just, um, I don't know, that's just how I feel. It has a mineral crystal, not a sapphire, but you can easily update it and get a sapphire. Now I've updated my other ones in the past. I had a ceramic bezel, you know, loom bezel insert, all that. I actually love this bezel much more. And in some lighting, when you move it, there you go like that. It has this gray look, almost faded, and it just looks super cool. So I'm not gonna touch this. I'm not gonna change it. I'm not gonna alter anything on it. I'm gonna leave it original equipment. I love the way it looks. Um, there's your tsunami on the back, Seiko, made in Japan, water resistant. This is 200 meter water resistance, okay, which is more than enough, 660 feet. So this is an ISO certified diver. So this is this is an actual dive watch. We look at all these Swiss made watches, all these other Japanese built watches, and they're not certified. This is certified, okay. This is a diver, and many people that dive back in the day have worn this watch or even the older variants like a you know the old um, um, turtles and and stuff like that so seiko is got so much brand heritage um you know for dive watches for i mean they're just seiko all around is probably the best brand out of any brand out there, okay, from entry level all the way up to Grand Seiko, which now Grand Seiko is is separating themselves from Seiko brand, but they are the best. I, 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 you know, yes, better than Rolex, better than all the other brands. They just don't have that brand name recognition like, you know, Rolex, okay, but Seiko is a household name. Everybody knows Seiko. Um, everybody, most everybody knows Grand Seiko. 
um, and Grand Seiko is up and coming in the luxury market and from their what they're doing now, their new campaign to try to be up at the top, I'm sure they'll get there. It's just going to take some marketing, um, but Grand Seiko builds. I mean, after own, having the one that I have, I mean, I love Grand Seiko. I, I want more Grand Seiko. They're, they're just made so well. But uh, I just want to go over this with you guys, give you a quick little review of this. Um, you guys probably already know most about this watch already because it's been around since 1996. Um, and everyone knows about the older divers, but for me, this is my classic watch. This is from when I was a kid, when I was young, this is the, the watch that, that I, that I like. Okay. So, and I've always wanted, and I've always, you know, the, being a watch enthusiast, you kind of go through this journey, you buy, sell, buy, sell. It's hard to just collect and keep and hang on. You can't do that. I mean, you can't, for me, I've always only had three or four watches in the collection at a time. Right now I've got quite a bit. I've got like eight or so, but um, I'll probably thin the herd a little bit, but this is going to have to be a keeper for me because since they don't make them anymore. And this one is a very good example of it as well. So let me show it on the wrist. This is on my seven and a half inch wrist. Fits just beautifully on this band, okay? And I love that lug to lug. See, that's 46, that's perfect. 42, 46, perfect on the wrist. I love that. Here's the loom. Right here. And I will turn out the lights. There's that loom of bright. Kill the lights real quick. Look at that. That is classic Seiko loom. Now this was glowing all night long. Look how bright that is, evenly applied. What more do you want? You have awesome loom, you have a day and date. It's a certified diver, ISO certified, great bezel action, perfect size. It's the best watch, especially at this price point. So I'm gonna put a link in the description to my Amazon store where to pick this up if you guys want to buy it off Amazon. I think they have some J models. They also have some K models. Um, I'll put a link to Long Island as well. So you guys go to both. But uh, check this watch out. If you don't already own one in the collection, put one in there, okay? Uh, put one in there while you can, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.